Good morning, Class 13 Virtual Fist Pump. Today is Tuesday, July 21st, 2020. Some of you will be going to the in-person visit today, and we look forward to seeing you there. And know that you'll see your social worker there today if your in-person visit is today. If not, we're meeting at 10 o'clock for a Google Meet. We'll be doing our greetings and then listening, listening to a book. So that will be a nice Google Meet. Don't forget to check your schedules for all of your different Google Meets this week as well as your in-person visits. So after we get done with our calendar, we are going to review the Magic Milk Science Lab. Now some of you did this in our Google Meet last week and we had a lot of fun and we came up with some good questions. One, I'm wondering if anyone that was on the Google Meet last week did the experiment and did it with, we did the experiment with dish soap, but there was a question whether it would work with other kinds of soap, like shampoo. I'm wondering if you have done the experiment with shampoo and if it has the same results as the dish soap. So those of you who weren't on the Google Meet, Christina is going to do the experiment for us again. And she had a really great idea and Christina is doing something a little bit different than we did, and she is using a Q-tip to put the soap in. So remember, when you're doing all of these science experiments, there are lots of different variables, and it's fun to see how the results can change or be the same depending on those variables. So that'll be a lot of fun. All right, so let's start with our calendar. Here is our July calendar. We said today is Tuesday, so we're going to look up in the top and find the column for Tuesday. I'm going to move our circle over to 21. So today is Tuesday, July 21st, 2020. Remember this number, 21. The month. The month is... July, point to July. Great. Remember what the number was? 21, point to 21. Yes, we're gonna move that up. And the year is 2020. Let's talk about yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Today we said is Tuesday, so yesterday was Monday, point to Monday. That's right. And today is Tuesday, find Tuesday. And tomorrow will be Wednesday. Find Wednesday. Okay, let's put the months next to the correct number. So the first month of the year, and if we're writing that, you could use it as a one, would be January. Let's move to January. The next month, February, January, February, March. Can we find March? After March comes April, fifth month, May, then comes June, find June. Now we're getting into the summer. We have July, 
after July is August, then September, after September, the 10th month is October, November, and the last month, the 12th month of the year is December. The season is, what season are we in? We have choices, spring, summer, winter, fall. And in this season, it has been really hot. The sun is out, the flowers are out. It is summer, that's right, fine summer. Okay, we're gonna put the seasons in order. After winter comes winter, then the buds start coming out. Yes, it is spring. And then it gets hot and everything starts to bloom and it is, it's correct, summer. After summer, it's fall. The leaves start to turn, they come off the trees. So we have winter, spring, summer, fall. Okay, nice job with the July calendar. I can't believe that we're almost done. It seems like July just flew by and it's gonna be August before you know it. Let's join Christina as she does the magic milk science experiment. Hi everybody, it's Chris. Let's do a science experiment with milk and food coloring and soap. It's called Magic Milk. Here are the materials that you'll need. We have a bowl, food coloring, soap, milk, and today I'm going to use a Q-tip to add the soap to the milk. So first thing we need to do is pour some milk in the bowl. Just enough to cover the bottom. Next, we'll add some food coloring. Red. Yellow, green, and blue. Now I'm going to put a little bit of soap in a cap so I don't put too much into the milk. I'll take my Q-tip, roll it in the, in the soap, and ready? Here it goes. Whoa! You can move the colors all over the place. And then make it tie-dyed, like what I like to see. And when you're all done playing with the milk and the food coloring, you can just pour it down the sink and wash your dish. I hope you guys enjoyed that. See you next time. All right, guys, that was fun. So remember, you try it at home, and you can also do it a little bit differently and see if you get the same results. Try using a Q-tip, try dropping it in, or like we said, try shampoo or a different kind of soap. Maybe it will yield different results. All right, guys, make sure you check your schedules. I hope to see you around this week. 
All right. Have a great day. Bye.